are you developer and you are not confident of developing software and developing that uh, program coding that program or you feel anxious whenever there is a issue in your code you are not confident again to fix that issue or even if suppose you are non technical person like tester or manager and you want to really shape your it career in technical direction so what are the fundamental things you need to know let's see in this video so as part of your software engineer journey you need to know some basic things i mean when i say basic things at the same time you need to master them also and you have to give some deep dive to those concept okay so let's start with the first thing which is about programming language so as you are from software industry definitely programming language is the basic and you need to know at least one programming language in little bit depth so as a programming language your career start with c and c++ from your educational background if you are from it field or computer science background but apart from c and c++ we have python we have a java and javascript this combo goes hand in hand so suppose you are working in web technology so java will be used in back end and javascript will be your front end uh, programming language but apart from javascript php is also popular as part of uh, uh your back end programming language and c sharp and typescript both goes hand in hand so suppose you are working in microsoft technology that time you will be coding the things in c sharp and typescript is parallel component to javascript so again as part of the web development ruby is popular programming language swift it's something which is related with ios and apple technology kotlin is used for android or mobile application development go is again making its present felt in it world and it is developed by google so it is being used in data science and other uh, other kind of uh, programming languages i mean other kind of programs where go is very popular apart from that we have a Mat matlab which is specifically for ai ml and machine learning kind of activity scala is functional programming language which is very popular in big data so if you are aware about uh, uh, spark engine so spark is developed using scala so apart from that we have a r for mathematical statistical analysis and there are many other programming languages but again i have given some popular and mostly used programming languages here as part of your learning curve so when you want to learn any programming language so there are some basic concept like uh, syntax semantics you should be in a position to read the uh, read that programming program and interpret the logic so that's where you need to practice those basic syntax after you master the basic syntax of that programming language you can jump into more advanced concept and become a intermediate uh, uh, programmer and once you achieve intermediate level you can go and go one more deeper level and master that programming language okay this is the learning path for your programming career coming to the next part which is uh, uh oops means again it is part of the programming language but uh, when you learn the programming the next part is understanding the deeper concept uh, of object oriented programming so most of the programming which i showed you those are object oriented programming and that's where you need to learn classes object functions abstraction encapsulation polymorphism and inheritance concept inheritance again is core Uh, as part of the uh, object oriented programming language so once you master uh, oops concept then you can give more focus on some advanced concept like uh, collection classes so there are common set of collection classes like uh, uh, array array list uh, uh, map hash map set queue stack vector tree linked in so you need to master all these collection classes which collection class you need to use where that should be your key as a good programmer then apart from that you need to really get your hands dirty on a multi threading concept error and exception handling is very very important because whenever you write a program you need to identify where things went wrong and that can be possible using error and exception handling 
uh, done properly as part of your programming. Socket programming, nowadays everything is being distributed or there is client server architecture and everything is uh, being communicated communicated over the network, right? So that's where uh, you need to know socket programming also. So there are certain GUI framework also. So I have given here, I think Java example. So in case of Java, we have Swing, SWT, AWT, these are the uh, GUI framework for desktop kind of application development. But apart from that, if you really want to go into that next level of depth, that's where you can uh, learn few things related with data structure and file handling. So when I say data structure, link, link, link singly link list, doubly link list, tree, uh, gra graphs, their traversal, depth first search, breadth first search, all this concept uh, and uh, data structures comes into the picture. And on top of that, uh, there are certain things, how to read the text file, how to read the binary file, and there are other types of files also. So you need to master reading, writing data into that file. Uh, after developing your program, you really need to develop some test cases. You need test cases in order to test uh, your code. So that's where in Java, we have J unit as a testing framework. But apart from that, Mockito is also famous. Test ng Selenium is very popular tool in case of Java. And Serenity, BDD, these are other tools uh, you can leverage for your unit testing. When it comes to the Python, Robot is very popular. But apart from that, Py PyTest is the most popular thing uh, when it comes to the unit test. Unit test, doc test, uh, nose to testify. These are other framework for performing unit testing in case of Python. So when it comes to the C sharp, we have M test, N unit, and X unit framework for developing your unit test cases. And apart from that, uh, once you develop your code, the most important thing is the code documentation and following the best practices, right? You should, your code should be in a good readable format if anybody refers that code by looking at your comments. So in case of Python, we have very good guidelines in terms of PIP 8 guidelines, Python enhancement proposal. So they have given all uh, all guidelines in which, how should you name it to your function class and variable. So enter guideline is available in case of Python as a PIP 8. Uh, guideline. So that is all about programming, uh, advanced programming. Now coming to the next part. So how it goes, suppose you have a land. Okay, that is your basic programming. But you want to build a home on top of that land. That's where your oops concept comes into the picture. And if you really want to give that good architectural feel to your home, that's where uh, next Thing comes into the picture that is your design pattern so design pattern is like when you develop a program it should be more accommodative more flexible more reusable if there is any change it should be easily uh, accommodable in your code that's where design pattern plays very very important role so if you really want to excel as part of your programming and architectural journey you need to learn design patterns and all these design patterns are same across all the programming language. There will be a little bit different in terms of syntax and semantic and the way you they use when doing the program, but concept wise, everything remains same. So we have a creational design pattern and in creational design pattern, there is a factory, abstract factory, singleton, prototype, builder, object pool. These design patterns are there. In structural design pattern, we have adapter, bridge, composite, decorator, facade, proxy. These are the design pattern. So if anybody hacks something in your system, you might be using this proxy design pattern. Uh, behavioral uh, design pattern, we have chain of responsibility, command. Uh, interpreter, iterator, mediator, memento, observer, state, strategy, template. So these are the design pattern you need to learn in order to design your classes in a better reusable, accountable uh, way. Then next component as part of your uh, IT career or as a software engineer or even uh, you are non-technical person, but you need to master at least one database. You need to learn that SQL programming language and 
try to understand what is happening in those RTPMS databases. So that's where we have very popular product uh, in the market, Oracle, MS SQL, uh, SQLite, DB2, Apache Derby, Postgres, uh, MySQL, MariaDB, and many more databases are there. But again, as per your development, you can learn at least one database and try to achieve a little bit depth in that. So when I say uh, database, most of the time people think about SQL means performing that select statement, insert statement, update, joins. So that is just from development point of view, but try to achieve next level by understanding some DBA concept, uh, database administration, backup, how the data is being stored in the file, uh, in the back, uh, back end. So try to understand that uh, physical and logical designing pattern uh, when it comes to the database understanding. But when it comes to the SQL, we have DDL, data definition language, data manipulation language, data control language. So those are the things and uh, try to uh, understand and learn them. Joins, trigger, function, views, indexes, and some query optimization techniques are there when it comes to the RDBMS database. So that is all about RDBMS database. But again, as part of your IT career, you need to master at least one operating system, right? And we have various flavors of operating system here right now. So out of that, Linux is very popular. So whenever you develop any server application, uh, most of the cases uh, it is being deployed on Linux operating system. In case of Linux, again, if you want to really master Linux operating system, you need to understand some basic commands. Once you understand those commands, you need to re really gain the mastery in uh, some scripting language. So alternatively, right now, instead of using Linux scripting, Python scripting is also getting very much popular. You need to master at least one editor. So I'm from the old generation. I'm very much comfortable in VI editor, but its next version is also Vim. Uh, you can learn Gedit, Nano editor also. Uh, when it comes to the operating system, there are generally two types of operating system. So desktop uh, operating system and server operating system. So most of the cases at, as a end user, user, we use desktop operating uh, system. And in case of Linux, we have Debian, Ubuntu and uh, Linux Mint as a as a uh, distribution of uh, desktop versions of Linux operating system. But apart from that, Fedora is a family uh, of server operating system in case of Linux. So REHL is, uh, is a enterprise level uh, uh, version available in case of Linux operating system. Apart from that, we have CentOS as open source version. And again, OpenSUSE, which is very popular in European countries. And if you want to do something on mobile side, we have a Android version of Linux. So that is about Linux. But uh, suppose you are working in Windows operating system. In Windows, again, we know desktop version most of the time. And out of that, you might be using Windows 10, right? But these are the desktop OSs in case of Windows. But there are server operating systems also. So whenever you want to deploy any application as a server application or even uh, you want to uh, do some distributed communication as a part of uh, distributed software, most of the cases that is being developed uh, or deployed on server operating system. So latest version is Windows Server 2022 and Windows Server 2019. In case of Windows, we have Windows 10 as a mobile operating system. But in Windows, if you really want to master, you need to understand some basic DOS command, PowerShell scripting, is very important if you really want to achieve that depth and uh, understanding of uh, automation, doing automation on Windows platform. So you need to understand PowerShell. There are various editor, but out of that, I like Notepad++ for quick uh, text manipulation, searching and modifying your data. Lots of good features are there as part of the Notepad++. So use that editor. But apart from that, uh, as a Microsoft stack, we have Excel, Word, PowerPoint, these common common softwares are also there and we need to understand and use them for respective work. So that is about mastering uh, uh, Windows operating system. Uh, but if you are from Apple stack and you are a fan of Mac OS, you can definitely uh, learn the Mac OS and uh, 
try to understand uh, it uh, more or less it uses the same linux kernel so command uh, most of the cases are same but again check it out and uh, try to go into that next level in the mac os and ios as well so that is all about operating system uh, apart from that uh, means programming language rdbms you need to understand networking concept because everything is happening over the network these days right so how this network is set up what are the network to to topologies network security lan wan man there are various uh, routing devices networking devices are there so at computer level we have a network interface card nic we have hub devices switch router bridge gateway repeaters so try to understand how this these things work in the back end and how they uh, connect and their topology apart from that you need to understand ip addresses tcp ip udp protocol and if you really want to get into that uh, uh, good depth then try to understand osi model so osi model is again of seven layers application layer presentation layer session layer uh, transport layer network layer data link layer physical layer so go and learn what are these layers so that is all about networking concept let's move on to the next topic as part of your mastery in software field so next topic is security security is a wide topic actually there is network security data security encryption decryption and more more and more things are there as part of security cyber security this that but here i have included more generic and common component which you need to know and master so first one is authentication authorization what is that and for each uh, system each software they have their own authentication and authorization mechanism so you need to understand that apart from that uh, there is a kerberos integration in most of the cases so i'll highly recommend you uh, understand what is kerberos how it works in a back end and uh, those things understanding you will give it will give you a little bit edge uh, if you understand the back end working of the kerberos then apart from that we have TLS, SSL protocol, that HTTP, HTTPS protocol. So understand that part also. So when you develop any program, any software, what you are doing at that, you are giving some instructions to a hardware, right? So that's where you need to know some internal working of hardware also. Means how the data is being read from the disk and it is bring on into the memory, how it is being put onto the network, how it travels from one machine to another machine, how uh, you know, program is being read and how the CPU cycle impacts the performance of execution of that program. So uh, these things are also important. So if you understand disk IO, memory IO, network IO, CPU cycles in a little bit deep level, so it will give you edge while developing that program and optimizing it. So developing program is very simple when your skills comes into the picture when you develop it more efficient and optimized program more efficient query more efficient java python programs so that is your expertise so in order to achieve that expertise you need to know the internal working of hardware as well most of the algorithms if you see most of the algorithm indexes and this and that those are based on this this removal of these uh, uh, inputs okay so get that depth and probably you will be achieving that next leg, uh, level. In short, if you really want to master your software engineering career, you need to learn that deeper aspect of one programming language. You need to learn uh, one RDBMS database and third one uh, operating system. So please put these three things in the comment section. Operating system, RDBMS database one and one programming language. Thank you for listening.